it's not really surprising and today it's like the media outlets back in the uk have just decided that you know what we're going to work together because it was just in the morning whereby we saw that daily mail had a serious exclusive according to them and now i'll be taking you through an article written by this other media outlet called the gb news and i'm not surprised they're bringing about discussions that trust me you i don't know i don't know and i don't know who really funds them to bring about these whole stories in this particular stat but this is just really really awful they had a story king charles decided to dine away from prince harry on a day on the day let queen died to keep a clear head and I know a lot of us have heard of this new autobiographer who will be releasing uh, King Charles's biography on the 18th of this particular year, January. And uh, it's King Charles III, uh, the new king, uh, new court. I'm not surprised when certain things are happening and Charles is not acting accordingly. One thing personally I've always said is that Charles failed way long time ago as a father, as a leader, as a grandfather. He just showed how much he's not of a family man, but instead tends to favor the one who is not even worth it. That doesn't shock us. Let me just take you through the article and you have an opportunity to just comment down below of what you think about this. Thank you so much for joining in into our today's video and if you are new here kindly don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our family which is Sussex Squad forever. King Charles did not eat with Prince Harry on the night of the Queen's death because he needed to prepare to console a Britain a new biography has claimed. It was reported by palace officials that the king died, dined instead with his eldest son, Prince William, to have vital but discreet discussion. Robert Hardman, the author of a new biography about Charles, said that the king needed a clear head and no distraction before consoling the country following the death of the queen. That's now the new biographer and those were words quoted. Uh, this means that maybe yes, he was informed or yes, he knew what went through. And uh, let's just wait and see how things go. But Charles needs to amend his home before it's too late. Because I've been only two sons uh, and uh, everyone is, is, is in his own particular land. It's not good as a parent. But either way, it's a decision they make. And me, there's one thing that really, really amazes me is the fact that Harry doesn't give a damn attention to them, doesn't care whether they involve him in certain things, whether they don't. His life keeps on moving. He keeps on looking gorgeous. He keeps on standing. Not even a single bit of what they say, what they do really or literally affects them or him. Mem a member of the king's staff said uh, you have to remember losing a second parent is a big thing becoming the senior generation is a big thing and there he was expected to console the whole country of course they'll just try to defend him in whatsoever way they can but either way it's okay it's up to them it's a decision they made and um, they can do whatsoever they please whatsoever they want or whatsoever they like because one thing that is very much evident is that the Duke of Sussex has really moved on and doesn't care what goes on back in the UK. That evening, Harry was met in Balmora by Princess Anne, who hugged him and took him to see his grandmother to pay his respect. According to Hardman, Harry then joined the rest of the royal family for dinner. Starting in quote, Harry then joined the family dinner downstairs. Neither of his father nor his brother was there. However, the king and queen Camilla had and by now returned back to their home in Balmoral Estate. Hartman speculated about the reasons that Harry was not invited to, din to dine with his father, starting in quote, in a years to go on by such a moment would automatically have included his younger son too. But it doesn't surprise us because it's like 
Charles never cared, doesn't care, and will never care about Harry ever again. That's why Harry losing his mother was one of the worst thing I bet ever that happened to him. Because even if you read his memoir spare, you could see, you could just, you know, picture everything out from how ever since the mother passed away, the treatment, each and everything just went as per how the working royals wanted. But we thank God that he's fine, he's good, and uh, he just gave out his part of the story and now he's doing way much better than any of them because what the other royals are so much focused is wanting to outdo harry yet harry on the other side is just busy making a progress busy just looking forward and just focusing on things that are right in harry's memoir spare he gives no reason for his exclusion from Adina and recalls his own version of events stating hunched against the cold. I hurried into the foyer. This is what now Jibi News had to quote from Harry's memoir spare. Of course, they'll say whatsoever rubbish they want. After all, it favors them and they think that's the best thing uh, to do. As you'll just love to check out the whole story, you can go just visit the JB News website and you'll just get to read it, but it's not even worth just reading it or just sparing some time and just listening to it because everything stated there is just lies things that are favoring the so-called working royals that is charles and william and that that one doesn't come to my surprise as a person because this is something that they haven't started yesterday or the day before yesterday they began it way long time ago the new biography charles the third a new king a new court the inside story will be released in January 18th on 2024, this particular year. Let's see what it entails. Let's see what the, whatever lie now, they've already cooked it so well and they are yet to release it to the world out here. But one thing that is so much, very much evident is that that institution, that firm is really, really much incompetent. How they behave, how they operate, how they do things just doesn't work as a competent institution. Rather, it's just just something else. Because personally, I join hands with the people who are always busy out here speaking about abolishing the monarchy. Because if this is how Charles is leading, if this is how Charles is working on things now, what else should we expect? What better thing should we have as expectation that william will bring about personally i can see nothing because up to date up to now ever since ever since the queen died i don't know what william has done that can make us have a reasons just wanting to see him just ruling over or in that particular throne because he's just proven how incompetent he is and all he's after is just after leadership and the fact that he's lazy i don't know how things will be working during his reign because charles has just proven to be the worst father and uh William is nothing less like him because I believe the whole version of who Charles is is what William is. That's from my own perspective. I don't know what are some of your thoughts over the same. Kindly just leave your comments and thoughts down below. And that was our today's video and thank you so much for tuning in and see you guys in our next video.